get up, 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 get up. Bro, I don't trust this game, dog. This door animation? It ain't it. It ain't it. <laughs> Can I be like 100% honest with you guys? High keys of the lowest of keys, bro. I don't want to play. Like, I like right now, like, I just should just end, just don't record it. What's this about? When she was a kid, Luna aspired to be a superhero. Not okay, the ones in skin-tight suits that could fly, but oh. the ones that identified connections where others didn't. She wanted X-ray so vision like to observe criminals when they tried to hide from the law, and supersonic detective, hearing to yeah. listen in on mischievous talks, then a measure of heightened strength to restrain the guys bigger than her. I like that. This was all she craved when she was a child. As she became older, her ambitions took a more realistic approach, which okay. seemed in direct opposition to the surreal tone the news took. The facts became the new dystopian fiction. The world grew louder each year, apparently more violent or more visible than the year before. Where do your Her generation work? grew up looking to cull the increasingly violent trends that saw mass incarcerations, drug wars, and serial killers studying to gain notoriety. Facts. Luna took the analytical route in her quest for justice, feeling more at home processing case files, evidence, oh, yeah. and connecting oh, crazy, dots. Bro. Her cousin, a sister almost, enrolled in the academy and became an officer of the law. Even extended family, no matter how far away, seemed to gravitate towards law enforcement. Almost as if it were in their blood. A murderer becomes a serial killer with just two more kills. A co-worker informed her over scones and coffee one morning. This one had three total that day. But that number hit double digits soon enough. Accumulating corpses of officers, criminal lawyers, and several field investigators to a growing pile of victims. The news on TV, becoming more unreal as the years ticked on by, ran the Blue Blood Killer story 24-7. Luna knew about the local serial killer. More so than most, thanks to all the overtime spent processing corroborative evidence for their many crimes. However, it still felt more like gossip and fabricated plot points. At least, until that phone call made something so artificial an actuality. The call came in the middle of the night, as unexpected as a bullet in the dark. Her cousin, the exemplar of a police officer, had been killed. It was just the tragically common traffic. That sent me chills. I don't have that big of an audience to sit through that with me and watch that. No lie. So, you know what I'm saying, people gonna probably come here just for the gameplay itself. I respect that. I can't hate on that. But we gonna have to push through, fellas, that gee. Okay, so basically, I'm gonna give it a rundown. So, I was loading in and all that. Bro, I got hair in my... I should get to my computer and get the night started. I cannot. Okay, so I've watched Corey X. Kenshin um, and Dashy, I think that, and Dashy played it, and Poise, because it's Poise Gang and it's Snipe. I only grabs like, what you supposed to do, that concept. I didn't really know the story like that, so basically, she was doing detective work, but I didn't know she went vigilante <laughs> with the works. Bruh, I ain't played a horror game in so long, bro. I'm about to quit, bro. Okay, so... We gotta keep the lights on. Hey, yeah. We gotta keep every window shut. Hey, we gotta yeah. keep every window locked. Bro, I've never played a game by this man, bro. I don't even know where to start right now. Bro. Man. How, hold on, wait. How you flash? How you flashing? I gotta learn how to flash. Space. Okay, okay. Space by the flash. Okay, so this is editing lucky talking to you guys. Um. At this point in time in the video, I thought I did something wrong or I left something unfinished. So I thought I couldn't continue with the game. So I actually end up ending the gameplay. Reading is fundamental. I didn't read the instructions. And the instruction says, hey, guess what? You said a little white paper icon right there? Yeah. I was supposed to click and drag that and drop that onto the desktop of the computer. Huh. Boy. Uh 
How do you back out your P your CP? Your computer. I'm saying CPU. Oh, you got locked the door too. No. Hey, bro. <laughs> oh. Uh uh. Uh uh, man. I'm not about to play this. I ain't about to play this. I ain't gonna lie to you. I quit right now. Maybe I'm. Did I not lock everything and everything? Cause when I watched Corey Kenshin and them play, the the girl she said I gotta do something. Check out those bundles. If you see that, the one that to me, she not telling me to check out no bundles. We gotta see whether this person is a good gal or not. So I think you shred it over here, this right here. If it's a good guy, I think you send it to the cops and them right here. If it's a bad guy, if you think it's suspicious, you know, you get them right. You know what I'm saying? It shows on the blue John. You get them wrong, shows here with the Johns. Okay, I don't know what this is, these emails. The suspect name is Dennis Winkler. He's a male. Everything else about this dude is unknown. Or if he got blonde hair and blue eyes. Okay, report. I was sitting out on the front. Bro, talk, bro. I was sitting out on the front porch reading a magazine when I saw a, t when I saw a man Oh, running down the street. He was naked. What the? Naked and laughing hysterically. Huh. What? Time. So, are we only getting suspects involved in what I got going on? Because a man running around butt naked laughing. I think that's a suspect. He suspect himself. I saw a red-haired woman park in the street, street outside of the Buell's bar at around 6:45 p.m. this Friday. The car's been in the same spot for the past two days. It's a relatively nice area, so abandoning a car seems out of place if you ask me. I want to believe it's someone who did the right thing and left the car to not drive home drunk, but the other part. Of me think something fishy is going on. Okay, so social spot? No, not social spot. Who in the house? He in here. He most definitely in here. Okay, age, age range is 35 to 40, uh, height 5'6". <sighs> Gender, what female? I cannot think, bruh. I'm really scared, cause I'm so vulnerable. I don't like this, bruh. Tell me that was the Wi-Fi. Don't you tell me that was the Wi-Fi. <laughs> that was the Wi-Fi. I, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm about to end the gameplay right here. No lie. I end it right here. Stop playing. Let me check the cams. I've never been so skip, bruh. Man, she even looked innocent, bruh. Leggy Pearl Baker on my way to get the morning paper. I saw a young woman passed out in Pearl's yard She didn't have any shoes on and her pants were unbuttoned. It looked like she's been through heck feet all red and swollen Pearl never struck me as the partying type so I went inside my house to get my phone Maybe call the cops, but when I went back outside I saw Pearl dragging the women through her front door Later, I saw Pearl hosing down the grassy spot where I seen the girl. That's sus. Pearl Baker. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. 
But I don't trust this game, dog. This door animation? It ain't it. It ain't it. <laughs> My man's hit the corner of the screen like this, bro. What's up, buddy? I don't know what to do, bro. Just kill me, bro. You gonna kill me? Kill me, mate. Okay. So, obviously, even Captain Obvious knows that's this obvious. He in that closet, bro. He in that closet. Woo! Bro, how the lights got now, bro? Nah. He in that closet. So, so, what do you want me to do about it? I would have opened the door, dodged, because he probably would have swung, stabbed, or whatever. I dodged. <laughs> My man, Leprechaun dude, gonna be in the corner like this. Just open it. You win it, aren't you, Lucky? <laughs> My man has teleportation jutsu. Why? 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 Stop playing so much. Stop playing so much, Hockey. I'm lost for words. I I I can't. I'm defeated. I accept defeat. <laughs> Boy, I bit off more than I could chew, bro. I'm dead, me now. I'm about to quit. My heart is pounding through my chest, bro. I'm about to quit, bro. Call life alert. Call life alert. He in here, bro. He, where he at, on the ceiling? Where my man's at, bro? You can't just teleport tasting jutsu. Man, I don't care, bro. She innocent. Free, free. You innocent, you innocent. Laggy, one more, please. I've been through enough, bro. I oh, know, female. Uh, female, okay. Weight 150, okay. I'm dead, ain't I? Night two! Leggy! Leggy! If you're ready for that part two, stay tuned. Cause that night two coming soon. That rhyme. I get it, man. I'm feeling pretty lucky. <laughs>